Tommy, when you first heard about this, what was your reaction as you were watching the governor speak? Well, I was really surprised, and it was in the governor's address, and we were sitting on the floor of the House as, a, as, a, as, as senators and House members, and uh, it's a joint session of the House when he makes that address. So we did not have a warning that that was coming, and when it came, of course, I was shocked, number one. Um, betting on, let's bet on children instead of horses is a very glib quote, but it's really not the truth. We're not betting and we're not and we're not investing in children, but we are investing in an industry that employs 20,000 people. Uh, they have 30,000 horses. There's 106,000 acres of open space. Just think of the of the alfalfa and the wheat and the hay and the things that these farmers generate and sell. And so the 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 impact is 1.6 billion dollars of economic impact, which is fed by gaming money, not taxpayers' money. So I was obviously shocked when the governor dropped the bomb, but I just don't think that they dug deep enough to see what this horseman's fund does. I don't think they realized that it was a trust fund. Uh, so I think that once we were able to sit down with the governor and talk to him and go through the, the budget negotiations and the hearings, I think by the time we get to the end of that, he'll realize that this is an investment in Pennsylvania. It's an investment in the agricultural community, and it's an investment in my community here in southeast Pennsylvania. And specifically, uh, you were standing over here in this winter circle, a few feet from where we are now back in 2004 next to Governor Rendell. How has this worked since Act 71 was passed? Oh my gosh. Well, number one, for the, we, are, we are the number one state for taxpayer dollars coming back from the casinos. And, and since 06, we put $6 billion back in the taxpayers' pockets from casino money and horse money and gaming money. So the small portion, when you look at the grand scale of this $6 billion that's gone back, when, and, and, and even there's even more in tax revenue, uh, I think it's $16 billion total, billion, not million, <laughs> billion. I mean, it's $1.5 or $1.6 billion a year that we collect from the casinos every year. This was all possible because of horse racing at Philadelphia Park and, and, and at the Parks Casino. And, I, and, I, and I, I think it's important for people to know this. You know, when you come here and they're running the, the Kentucky Derby, this place is packed. When you come here for the Belmont, it's packed. When you come here for the Pennsylvania Derby, <laughs> it's packed. I mean, there's a, there's a picnic area just to my right here that is just filled with people having a wonderful day out in the sunshine and enjoying live racing and enjoying racing from one of the, the three big races in, in the country. So uh, we are an agricultural state and this, this trust fund is extremely important to us. So what everybody in the business wants to know, of course, is as the negotiations go on, the budget comes up in July when it maybe finally get passed and sometimes it goes beyond that. What are the chances of this happening and what, do you, what form will it take? Well, I think once people know what's happened, I, I think there's no chances. And I think once the governor realizes the financial impact, I think the governor has to come around to that. And then we have to sit and talk about the problem that he tried to, to address. Right. And that is the state system of higher education. As I said, I'm a, I'm a Westchester grad. I sit on the board of trustees. Uh, we have a, a demographic problem in Pennsylvania. We have a problem with that system. We need to address those problems. And we need to invest taxpayer dollars into that. The gaming dollars, that go into Horseman Trust Fund are gaming dollars. They're not public funds. It's, the important part is this is not a public fund that you can rate. It's a trust fund. So I think that I think that we'll be successful. I think once people hear the real story, and not just the here's two hundred million dollars. Right. Once they hear the real story, I think they'll realize that we can't do we can't do this. Good,